Hey guys, it's been a, a little bit since I've shot a recording. I had purchased a new camera a couple weeks ago and have been using it and, and over Father's Day weekend was the first time that I got it out to shoot uh, an episode, uh, an update. We we're going to do an update on the, on the garden and uh, also talk a little bit about the uh, trellis that I was putting up. I actually did I walked through and kind of did an, a, a how to or how we put up our trellis and I didn't have the stabilization set right on the camera and the video was just like everywhere it was, it was not great so I thought I would come out and, and just kind of reshoot today uh, what we did and kind of cover some things um, I'm still learning this camera so it's probably not going to be fantastic but but we're we're getting there uh, we'll get we'll get it figured out uh, but we trellised our tomatoes and you can see here and I'll walk through what we did, but I won't take credit for the original idea of, of this. Uh, I followed another YouTuber, um, on the East coast that has a, a garden. He was doing some homestead gardening. His name is Josh Satin. Uh, link to his channel is down in the description. You guys should check him out if you're interested in gardening, but I really liked his, uh, idea of a trellis and Really, it's made up of four pieces. It's made up of a T-post, um, a piece of conduit, uh, some type of cap. So in this case, uh, these are just like inch and a quarter uh, T's for PVC tubing. And then this is a tomato trellis line. And I'll walk through kind of what I did here uh, to get this together. But I, I picked that up from him. Um, I really like this setup and, and the reason why I like this setup is that it's flexible, it's very um, cost efficient, I don't have very much money tied up into this, and it doesn't take long to put up uh, or take down. Now, start to finish, uh, it was like three hours on, I did a lot of trimming and pruning of the suckers of these tomato plants. Um, but to put the posts in to run the conduit and then every one of the, the guidelines, it took about three hours for all of our tomato plants. So we have two lines for our three rows of tomatoes. Uh, after I ran the first line, the first trellis here down this line of tomatoes, I thought, uh, I think that this is a bit overkill. So I'm gonna just run a second line or second trellis in between my second two rows of tomatoes and then do a, a triangle. I'll probably have to come back and redo this because we've got a storm coming in and the wind just picked up in the middle of this recording. I'm never gonna get this recorded. Look at that cloud. All right, well, I'm going to pause and let this storm, cloud, wind pass. I'll try to come back out uh, when that's all done. I swear on all that is holy. I walked down here to the garden. I got my camera on, was getting ready to record. The sun was out, it was bright, it was nice, it was sunny, boom. Battery exhausted, I'm telling you. Uh, someone does not want this to be recorded. Now, I did actually check while I was inside uh, some video. Much stabler, so this is good. We're doing great. The, the components for this are uh, an eight foot, they call them T posts, so a fence post, eight foot. Drove into the ground right uh, to the top of the cross member. Um, see how these have a cross member so those are just barely under the ground so that's driven in the ground the that is an eight foot T post with a ten foot piece of half inch conduit uh, slid through a inch and a quarter and you could do inch and a half but these are inch and a quarter uh, T's 
they're connected together right here by a, a just a half inch connector screwed tight together and then the plants are held up on this tomato uh, twine and here's the Sun he came back out what holds the tomato onto the line are these little clips I got these just online the clip hooks onto the twine itself and then just loosely wraps around the actual stem of the tomato so there's no pressure on the actual tomato stem at all now the tomato plant itself is just following gonna follow up this line and what will happen is as this gets taller now let me come down here to this one as this tomato plant gets taller like this one what we'll do is we'll put another little clip on it and just work our way up the line but look what else we've got going on right here our first little tomato oh there's one there too over the last few days some of these flowers have started to put on tomatoes so that's very exciting here is a an example here's an example of clipped way down here and you can see um, I actually just wrapped this around earlier so it has something to go up but I'll need to put another clip onto there and those clips are pretty cheap $12 for I think a bag of 150 our tomatoes are really coming along compared to how they looked a few weeks ago being rained out some of them like these two here were the two that really got hit the hardest uh, but they're they're coming along quite nicely cucumbers really starting to take up to this trellis I hit the trellis with the tiller I'm gonna have to cut this section out uh, I was gonna cut it out anyways but look at that cucumber really taken off there um, we're just gonna let him kind of work up there we go we're just gonna let that little plant work up this trellis and and go its way um, peppers looking really great I wanted to show too this the second trellis line here so there is a T post here uh, sitting on top of it, it's a half inch conduit but instead of doing a straight up and down line um, I did kind of a triangle where each row is going towards the center so we'll see how this this goes I think I get enough sunlight that I'm not gonna overshadow uh, the right hand row as the left hand row gets higher the left hand row is on the south it's to the south here so um, the Sun is actually the Sun is still to the south here but I think it's a uh, high enough overhead that we shouldn't have any problem uh, sunlight on this north side row and you can see uh, lots of lots of flowers actually this right here is the first flower I've seen on this row so that's really great these other two rows especially these super sauces have put on a ton of flowers okay well that was just a quick overview I just wanted to show our trellis uh, there's so many ways to trellis um, your tomatoes I'm trellising all these tomatoes are indeterminates and so that's why we're trellising it and that's why we are also uh, picking the suckers we've got some romas my dad's garden has a bunch of romas that we started earlier uh, from seed here and we and he planted there those are determinants um, we don't we're not going to do as much uh, pruning and things to it just on these indeterminates we're going to run uh, the trellis on those determinants I think we're going to cage those and um, let the let the plant be bushy and grow out through the cages we have I made some cages uh, out of fence so I had fenced in this garden we, we've seen that but I've got these these cages here um, that I used in the past to put around my tomato as well the cage helps them keep animals out the deer out early on before I had this all uh, kind of Fort Knoxed the way that it is uh, it also gave something to grow on it allows you to use the cage itself to hold the plant up 
you can tie um, you know some twine like this tomato uh, tomato twine or that green uh, you know disposable plastic stuff I don't actually like that I've used it before it does a good job it's it's easy to tie off but it doesn't decompose so that's why I don't not a huge fan of it I, I'd like something that we can dispose of properly or it decomposes into the, the ground properly I gotta show you this plant look at this lettuce that thing is that stinker is ready to go make Vanessa come out here and pick that sorry I'll ask Vanessa politely if she'll come out here and pick that plant yeah if you have any questions about this trellis um, or anything that you want to know my feedback later on just uh, let me know in the comments below give me a thumbs up if you like you know this trellis system if you like what we're doing here uh, keep doing these videos and uh, if you do like what we're doing please subscribe and uh, we'll keep we'll keep putting videos together a lot of stuff to get done at the farm still we're gonna once I get this camera figured out we're gonna start doing uh, some farm videos we've got we've got that Alice Chalmer uh, the 185 to put a new alternator on I don't think that's been done yet so we got to get that alternator rebuilt the auger the grain auger needs um, a new boot a spout put on it uh, real like we had some major problems last year during harvest of that boot coming off and just corn going everywhere so like two of my ratchet straps are still on it uh, so I'd, I'd like those back um, we need to put lights on the backhoe uh, for, for moving snow. Dad's been complaining about not having lights on that thing for a couple years. And I'd like to do that for him and get those up and running. Some LEDs. I've been looking, still looking for a sprayer. We're going to find a sprayer, I think, here soon. I've, I've seen a few on Facebook Marketplace. So I, I've got plenty to do. We just... Um, We've got to get them. We've got to get them recorded and get that work done. Thanks, guys. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Give me a thumbs up. And I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. I had a video and I had a, I had a little hanger from here. Uh, that this camera was so clear that you could see it. And it was really disgusting. And there was like a solid minute of footage uh, wasted or gone because there's no way anyone would have heard a word that I was saying with a booger <laughs> stuck to the side of my face. <laughs>